Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Capricorn and pull your overarching energy or message in terms of love, romance, relationships for Capricorn. What do we have? Angel Spirits, guys. We've got the Queen of Swords, card of Libra. I'm going to pull one more card with her. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm going to pull three cards, as you know by now. First card is the issue or challenge in terms of love, romance, relationships. The second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is your future outcome. And then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we've got judgment in the challenge position. The Nine of Wands, Capricorn, advice from spirit and your outcome, we have the Fool. Okay, message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, thank you. You know what? They're not wanting to shuffle because it's the wrong deck. Okay. <laughs> Let me put... Even this one doesn't want to shuffle. Strange. Okay, there we go. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn. Thank you. What do we have for Capricorn? Let's clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn, please. In love, romance, relationships. March to April 2021. Thank you. Okay, two cards come out first. So we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Star. Three of Wands, Capricorn, with the Nine of Wands. The Fool is clarified with the Five of Swords, bottom of the deck. I've got the Six of Wands again, which is appearing twice in your reading. Capricorn, I've definitely got this energy of liberation. Queen of Swords is, I mean, she can generally be about cutting cords, but she is also a card of in, somebody who is independent, independent of thought, but also somebody who can be independent. Um, it's also an energy, you know, with the Queen of Swords of re-establishing the balance re-establishing balance in your life maybe something has imbalanced your life here in terms of challenges in relationships because there definitely has been some kind of challenge obstacle the six of wands appearing twice in your reading is indicating that you have been challenged it has been a voyage of self-discovery but you have the opportunity to claim an achievement a success a victory over that which has challenged you and put it behind you and move on and again cutting cords with that that queen of swords i'm definitely getting this energy of independence liberation liberation from something that has been trying and difficult but nevertheless six of wands says that you will come through it and feel pretty good about it again you will deal with it whatever this situation is and you're going to come through the other side feeling really good about it um, in your power 
Now she can also represent truth, some kind of getting to some kind of truth. You know, she cuts away all the fluffy, cloudy, hazy stuff and she gets to the core truth of a situation. So again, that might resonate for some of you. But I'm definitely getting in this. There's definitely this energy of, of re-establishment of boundaries, your boundaries. This is what I stand for. This is what I don't stand for. Um, I'm getting an energy Capricorn of I won't stand for this. I'm getting an energy of I, I'm not standing for this. Um, yeah, I mean, that might resonate for some of you. Because I'm definitely getting the fact here that something has caused you a lot of anxiety, stress, upset. Nine of Swords is an easy energy. But it is an opportunity to release from this now. In the challenge position, the Nine of Swords is something that has preyed on your mind, something that has really caused you sleepless nights, anxiety, worried. You are being blessed by the universe here. You may have lost faith in someone um, or a situation. Something has caused you to lose faith. faith. Um, and there's definitely an energy of... To, it feels like something has caused you... I'm getting that energy... The star is a card of blessings, renewal. It's a new world energy as well. So new paths, new alignments, new purpose. Again, this energy of you standing in your truth of what you stand for and what you don't stand for. You know, it's, I'm definitely getting this kind of energy because for some of you, the stress, the anxiety, the worry that you've experienced, you want to release from it now. And the way to release from it is to make some kind of judgment call. And you have an opportunity to stay on the path that you're on or go in a different direction. And there is a lot of liberation energy in these cards. Liberation and independent energies. So for some of you, there could be some poignant decision that you're making and it's a karmic decision you know judgment sometimes appears when actions have consequences and for some of you practically you might be thinking that this is what I stand for this is what I stand for in my truth this is what I'm not going to stand for how I release from this this situation that's causing me anxiety and stress is to deal with it and to make some kind of judgment call decision you might have been holding back from dealing with it here, but I definitely feel for some of you with that Queen of Swords, you're going to clarify, she will look something straight in the eye and absolutely make the right judgment call. She can be a card of making the right judgment. Um, so it feels for some of you, if you've held back, if you were hoping things were a little bit different or things were going to be a li little bit different, it feels for some of you, the clarity is coming and it will require you to make some kind of judgment call on which way you need to go. Because there is a decision. This is the advice from spirit. You know, uh, are you... The nine of wands is one less than the ten of wands. So there's definitely a feeling in this energy of there's one thing to do or one obstacle to overcome and then you're done, you know? And that could be to do with some kind of decision here, you know, judgment call. Because the, the three of wands is about the future. It is about taking steps towards your future and the promise of good things coming in you know they're not quite there yet but waiting to see you know the good things that are coming your way by the actions that you take so there's definitely an energy of, of focusing on new visions um, taking steps towards a new vision energy here this is a card of the beginnings of growth the beginnings of success the first signs of something good coming your way 
but it, it definitely feels in this situation there's just i'm definitely getting this energy of unfinished business or the need to deal with something and then it's done yeah the need to deal with something and then it's just done it's finished and for some of you the good thing is, the good thing that Spirit is telling you that once you've dealt with it, once you've done with it, once you've made your judgment call, the, the blessings, the hope that the universe wants to bring into you, you know, there's good things coming your way, whichever you decide. It definitely feels for some of you that it is a period of growth, expansion, the beginnings of success um, to do with your future. So... Can be a card of holding back a little bit again if you're holding back if you've been hoping something would pan out differently it is making judgment calls now with what you're guided to make because i feel for some of you again there is this energy of The Five of Swords. Now this is a victory card, but it comes at a cost. It feels for some of you that you want to put an end. I'm definitely getting this energy of you want to end the arguing. You want to end the conflict. You want to end the thing that is just preying on your mind in terms of negativity. Again, mental energy, the Five of Swords. It can be a card of something that's causing you conflict. Something that's causing you, you know, uh, disruption in your mind, but also in your physical reality. There's definitely an energy that you want to deal with it. And sometimes it is about dealing with it. Might cause a loss or people walking away you know it's it's that kind of energy the five of swords it's somebody who claims a victory but it comes at a cost it can come at a cost of respect it can come at a cost of friendships relationships even but sometimes it's the things that we need to deal with in order to bring an end to a situation and for some of you it feels like something has been preying on your mind so much and again the two nines that you just want it to be over and it's almost kind of like you now want to find a way some kind of judgment call here one thing to deal with to liberate Now, whether you both put a situation behind you and move on, claiming a victory, or whether this is you liberating from a situation and moving on, that's all part of the judgment call. But the fool is a new chapter. The fool is a new beginning. The fool is lightening the load. You know, he carries very little baggage with him. So it's almost kind of like you're ready to turn your back on whatever has caused the conflict and just turn the page you know and it, it feels it feels something has to change here something has to change something has to give and claiming a victory i mean again six of wands is a victory energy it's a it's an energy of, of achievement a significant achievement over challenge but it's, it's something that restores equilibrium finding harmony, restoring the balance. Again, that Queen of Swords energy in the Six of Wands. Restoring balance, harmony, equilibrium in your life. So there's definitely been something that has challenged you. And it feels in this situation you have the opportunity now to deal with it. And it's almost kind of like some of you, it might be dealing with it, and other people or the other person might not like what they hear, but at least you're dealing with it and you're allowing yourself to turn the page and start over, start afresh. And the message is, you know, I like the fact that this is appearing as well. It looks very much like the world symbol. The It is a victory wreath, but it is some, It is kind of like that is completion. The circle is a completion and I'm ready to just 
move on from this, you know, put it behind me and move on from it. So however you move on is part of your decision. But it's an empowering energy. It's you being in your power, feeling good because you finally dealt with something that has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry, difficulty, challenge, draining energy. And it feels you just want to deal with it now because it's blocking the good things coming in. Okay, so final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn, please. We have Panther Protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Wow. You see, we've got mental energy here with the Nine of Swords and we have the, the physical energy drain of the Nine of Wands. So I'm definitely getting this energy of this situation has been dra draining and you just want to deal with it now. You just want to deal with it and move on from it however you choose to. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.